Welcome to Savvy Sabs Podcast. I'm your host, Sabrina Salvati. I am here outside of Bromley Heath, a housing complex in Jamaica Plain neighborhood of Boston. Uh, there have been a number of issues that have been reported by residents here, and I actually want to show you something. So we're just going to turn to the side. This actual construction that you see behind me, this is actually where the community center uh, used to be. Uh, they tore this community center down and that community center uh, was actually considered to be a historic site because it was founded by one of the members of the Black Panthers. Uh, so just FYI, the red construction that you see behind me, uh, that is where the community center was. So this is another thing of uh, tearing down community centers and obviously that means that kids don't have a place to to spend their time after school. So I'm just gonna walk over here and show you so you can see, you'll see now it says this area over here says no trespassing. And again, I, I'm short, but bear with me. Uh, this is actually where the community center was. So you can see it's gone now. Uh, another typical story happening here in Boston where they're tearing down community centers. I'm here with uh, Christina at Bromley Heath uh, Apartments. Uh, hi, Christina. Thanks so much for talking to me. Hi. Thank you. So what are some of the problems that you're having, uh, particularly with your apartment here? I will start with the mold in the bathroom to the maintenance not fixing broken windows, broken doors. Uh, my fridge has been broken for about now a year and I've been putting in to get a new fridge. So my fridge doesn't have a ceiling around it. So I don't keep nothing in my fridge. I can't keep nothing in my cabinets because we're infested. Because since they've started those buildings, instead of making sure they do, uh, um, do, like, do clean our apartments or even clean those before they broke them down, they broke them down and every rodent, every infestation came to us. So now if you look through our yards, there are holes everywhere. And all they did was come out and they put black boxes out there, but that just affects our cats and our dogs. So now our dogs or cats could get sick instead of doing what's proper and, and taking us out of these apartments and exterminating all of them and then putting us back. Because if they do his apartment, do my apartment, do your apartment, then it just runs to the next door. So what, uh, when you say when they tore down the building, are you referring to the community center? Yes, where they're doing the renovations at. And also before the renovations, our bathrooms are like terrible and for them to just paint over it and the more you clean it, the blacker it actually gets. So the more you clean it, the mold is so used to the, the product it eats it even faster. So I have records of my bathroom ceiling falling in and then they'll fix it by just, you know, putting a little piece of board there, painting it and covering it up. And then in about six months, it's all black again, fully black. So I just want to explain to people, sometimes like uh, when there's mold issues, what some of the, I call them slumlords, what they'll do is instead of actually, because sometimes you have to go inside of the wall with to fix a mold issue, instead of doing that, which is going to cost them more money, they'll just try to like put some type of board or plywood over it, or they'll paint over it so that you don't see the mold, but you're still breathing it in. Have there been any uh, health issues in reference to the mold? Yes, of course. Um not only my household, but I have my neighbor's household, another neighbor's household. We have more than five households I could name that all of us have the same coughs. There's more than one person in the house with the same cough. It's not COVID. It's not a common cold. It's nothing they can find out. So now we have to look deeper and see if something's affecting our lungs and our breathing in here. So all of these things add up, right? So obviously, if there's a mold issue and people are having health issues, then that equals medical costs, right? Um, if there is an issue with her refrigerator, obviously, if she can't keep food in the refrigerator or the cabinets, then that means she has to pay for food that 
does not have to be refrigerated. Those things cost more money. So these just these these things add up more. Now, last I heard, uh, Mayor Wu said that she had fifty million dollars designated to this particular uh, housing complex, but you have not seen that money distributed yet. No, not at all. No. And when we ask questions about it, um, I know I was told, and, a, and maybe a couple other people's, but when we ask questions, I was told that we wasn't even in that fund. Like, that fund is going to be used for a different side. So there's not, there's supposedly, there wasn't even enough for our side. When we was, when we was fighting for, for it, it was for all of us. It was a, it, we we're supposed to be like phase two and, you know, now I'm here and we're not even close to getting done. So they're the f fixing a lot of our pavements. They're fixing sidewalks. They're fixing the maintenance roof. They're, they're fixing the weirdest stuff, but won't come in and fix our apartments. So the $50 million doesn't cover the entire complex? To my knowledge, we're finding out it doesn't. I've been to more than one event like you know and they'll have where they're discussing what the floor plans are and then I'll see notice that our floor plan ain't in and I'll ask and the last time I went to one which was the last time because I was so disappointed they that's when they um, really let me know that our phase is not a part of it like we're not a part of it so I'm also curious too where are people have they mentioned like where people are going to temporarily stay when they decide to do the construction that's part of that 50 million well if we were supposed to be i believe the 20, 2024 yes. i wouldn't i would think they would be letting all the residents that would have to move no so obviously we're not a part of that because by now which is 2023 the end we should know where we would be moving how many, you know, how we, how they're going to uh, um, accommodate us for moving like trucks and different things. So we know we're not a part of that. 2024 is around the corner. And 2024 was supposed to be our, you know, our segment to get done. It's not getting done. I don't believe that. They're fixing floors. They're fixing, they're, they're fixing our sidewalks and haven't came in our apartment. How many people would you estimate have made complaints, whether it's a written complaint or uh, a complaint in person in reference to the living conditions here to Mayor Wu? Um, I, 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 I can guarantee you on our side more than half, more than half, way more than half, because their side's getting done. I can't talk for that side, but this side, I can say more than <laughs> more than half. I mean, if, if one whole building has mold, I have a friend that lives there and she complains about infestation. I have, it's not one apartment, it's the building. That's, so, the, that's the thing with mold, you guys. If you don't treat it, mold will spread. Infestation would also fail. The rats, the roaches, the mice, all of that. So I, I, I had a point I didn't have no roaches. Now, since they've been break, I have roaches. Like, I, I, I had a problem with the mice, the outside rats, but roaches was like, oh, okay, those big ones. Now we have roaches. It's, it's like they're forgetting about us over here. Like, they literally are. I don't know what the maintenance men are doing that no, you know, no real jobs are getting done. Has a fire inspector been here within the past year? No. Do you remember a fire inspector coming here within the past three years? None of my, no, I, I don't know, no, no. The reason why I ask that question is because in Boston, fire inspection, there's a fire inspection that's supposed to be done every year, right? So uh, some landlords are good about making sure that's done, some are not. And this is one of those things I found out when I first moved to Boston. Um, but I have had landlords that don't do it, that are supposed to do it. But I've had landlords that do make sure that it's done. The reason why it's supposed to be done is because a lot of the buildings in Boston are really old, right? So you have electrical outlets. Sometimes you can have old wiring. This is why some buildings, there was a building building in Copley Square years ago that caught on fire and they said it was because the wiring was so old. This is why you're supposed to have those things done. So that really does concern me that you don't remember seeing a fire inspector come by to inspect these buildings. Like 
that that would be priority number one. These buildings need. There are a couple of things that I have just seen, just by glance, that I I would think a fire inspector would flag. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. Oh yeah. Now, do you, in reference to the issues outside, I know you guys said there's been an increase in rodents and things like that. How have they been about the trash? One of the issues I noticed when I went to Grant Manor Apartments is that they weren't picking up the trash. The trash was just completely piled up. I don't know why, but whatever reason, the city of Boston was just skipping over uh, Grant Manor Apartments. I believe our trash company do their jobs. Our trash company comes and gets the, our stuff. We don't have a big issue with our trash, like with the company coming to get it or anything. I mean, I, I wouldn't think we do. Not, no. Okay, so that's good. So for people who may not understand, again, a lot of times when there is construction, so it's like you're digging into the ground, mm -hmm. so the ground shakes, and that's where right. all the rodents are, so they move. Right, so that's what happened, and for them not to, like, bring exterminators, when we, when we complain and we call, knowing that they're doing construction and knowing they're going to need a warm place to come now, this is just the beginning. Like, imagine, like, they're going to keep breaking down, and winter's going to come, they're going to run to us. And it's not fear because then when we complain, you're not even sending exterminators. I have three I have two exterminator notes, and I have a complaint of them I needed them to send because my fridge doesn't have a seal, so roaches could get in my fridge. Like, I don't put nothing in my cabinets or fridge. I shouldn't have to live like that. Everything is sealed. Like, my juices are all sealed and closed. We don't put no open food in there, no leftovers, no nothing. I, I keep in my fridge milk, juice, and anything that's closed solid, and then they can open it. When you open it, you use it. That's the end. Nothing in my cabinets. I have a shelf that I keep with all my stuff on it so I could see every little piece of it. Nothing closed. No, I don't use nothing in here. Do you have family? Yes. Yep. I have my daughter, I have my um, grandkids, you know, so, and it's, 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 it's becoming, like, I threw all my furniture away. Like, I threw my furniture away. These are my decorations that used to be in my living room, because when you get roaches, they go in your wood. So, my, all my wood stuff, I got rid of. And I didn't even know it was that deep until I managed to go buy some raid and start spraying all the corners of my stuff and seeing how bad it was. Yeah, this is it's unfortunate, but it's not an uncommon story because I've I've spoken to so many people, different apartment complexes and in a city like Boston that brings in a lot of money comes into the city. They are building developments at Seaport District. They're making that area look really nice. And there are other areas and other neighborhoods. Yeah. In Boston that are just abandoned. I, I feel like the city has like abandoned. Now, I heard uh, Mayor Wu was here either last week or about a week ago uh, with other people. And apparently uh, Pastor Wheeler was saying that she had a clipboard. Do you, are you familiar? You know, any idea what that's about? I don't know what it's about. I didn't see her, but I do know I did see some professionals walking and I asked them. I made a comment to them. I said, I hope y'all are looking at all these holes out here because this is not right. I mean, y'all know that they're living under us and they knew what I was talking about. Yeah, so once they start making, by they I mean uh, rats, once they start digging and making holes, that's never a good thing. Because see, now it's like, if you have the trash, they have food. And they start digging holes, now they have a home. So that that's how areas can become infested. So that is something, like putting those black boxes out, which I'll, I'll get a video of that, show you guys what that looks like. Putting those black boxes out, that doesn't do anything because you know why? Because rats and mice are actually smart. <laughs> so one does it, but the rest are going to know and now the rest aren't going to follow them. Yeah, they, they run right over it. I've, I've seen it happen like when I was in Somerville. They'll run right over it, past it. They know not to go through the hole in the black box. They're actually right. smart. <laughs> in certain areas, too, um, I don't know if y'all are going to show it, but if you know, you know where Miss, um, uh, Miss um, Stephanie, Miss Steph yes, Stephanie. Yeah, if you look against her wall, you can even see the paths where they changed paths from the box. 
that's sad when they're smart and they changed paths from the box because it's in grass. So I'm like, well, obviously they're not going in there no more. They got a new door, front door. Yep. How has uh, the electricity been like in the winter? Um, I don't know. Like, do, do these units are they? Do they automatically come with heat? Is heat included? Yeah, it it automatic it automatically clicks on. So it has a certain date they do click that on. So. But for AC, you have to provide your own. Yes, yes, yep. AC and fans. And if it's like hot, they did. Um, they had programs that provided uh, fans for the old elderly and people with kids. So, I mean, that part is not the. It's our living situation. Like, we have awesome programs for giving out food and helping people with, you know, getting into schooling or doing their taxes or this and that. We don't have, like, help in our apartments where we should be living happy, especially if we're paying our rent. You know, as soon as you miss a, 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 a two weeks, they'll send you a note. I, one day I said, my bank card is missing. I have to wait for a new bank card and I'll get them. Oh, um, you know, we're gonna have, we automatically send that letter. So it just automatically comes, but you automatically don't send no one to help us at all. Come on, to come in and do their job. But you'll see all the maintenance people just chilling. I'd be wondering like, and they're, and they're good people, but maybe they're not getting the order to come do the job because I see them. I just don't see them come here. Uh, how much do you have to pay for rent? It comes out of our um, income. So I'm at nine forty. I just uh, it. This city is getting over. I'm sorry. Like that. It nobody. First of all, no one should have to live like in these conditions. And and two, that shouldn't even be like nine forty. Just like based on. The living, right, I be saying that too, that's why I'm, I feel, I've been filling out for a lot of, um, once I, so I was going to try to like hang on 2022, and this was, what, two, three years ago, when we thought, we was, but now to find out, it's like I'm filling out for different complexes and different places, because this one is not working with us, it's, it's like working against us, and to be honest, I hope they're not trying to push us out. To, to, to bring a, a different, you know, generation bracket in here. You know, you know what I mean. Gentrification. Gentrification. Thank you. Yeah, I really do because, you know what I mean? Like, it's it, like we shouldn't live like this. No, and I'm wondering, too, because uh, some of the people that I talked to, they said there's a waiting list. So if you apply for another housing apartment complex, how long do you think you would have to wait? Depending on like so, these type of housings, uh, you know, the um, the assistant living here is different from when where the new buildings are getting put up. So those go off your income, and they're just like um, they just I, I forget what it's called, for, but like low income, and mm -hmm. so they have a bracket for how many people they could take that day. So they usually have lotteries and different things. Okay. But this here was just, you know, when I was younger, I was able to get, and I did appreciate it. I'm not going to hate on, you know, Boston housing, but come on, fix this up. Like you said, sometimes I'm paying rent, and, I, and I'm, I'm the type that be wanting to hold it and call the city in here. But I, I never do that to them. You get it? And all my friends and family, like when they come in, they go, you should hold your, your rent and call the city of Boston because you shouldn't even be in here. Well, Massachusetts tenants have more rights based on the other, other places I've lived. Like tenants have more rights here. Um, and that is one of the things, like if you have conditions such as like black mold, uh, what they consider to be health, health concerning issues in your apartment, by law, you can withhold your rent. Yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna look into that because I'm telling you, it's just not right around here. Is there is there a lawyer that has, has anyone here spoken to a lawyer that handles these types of, because I'm willing to bet you a lawyer could come in here and just say, listen, here are what your rights are based on, you know, Massachusetts, and here's what you can do and here's what you can't do. I, I think it would be really interesting to have a lawyer come out here and just see what's happening. Yeah, yeah, to, to help represent our community. That's, that's true. 
Well, Christina, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and, um, you know, seeing this. First step is for people to see it and, you know, hopefully we could get help with it. So all the roaches could get in, as you can see, I keep two racks just so that, like, they don't, because they really can't climb over this part. So I like to keep that like that. So this doesn't, this doesn't seal? No, it's a little broken. I this did a little crazy. take on myself. I take the door. I've had this for about three years. So, you know, they never, yeah. Now I'll show you something real that's going to bug you. I never use these. This is where I keep my food. I never use these. I've never even opened them in a long time. I just painted it to look nice. Are those the... Oh, my God. Exactly. So, I used to clean it out and, like, you know, just leave it, and they'll just come back. Clean it out, leave it, they'll come back. So, one day I just said, you know what, I'm going to just paint the outside. But none of them have food in it. I, I haven't opened them in a long time. So, you can't, you can't use the cabinets? No, I never did. I used to use them, and then roaches would be all in my cabinet, so I never did. So those are all the, the, the dead ones? Yeah, yep. This has been for about seven years because I told them it's infested and I can't use it. So I thought they would break it down. I tried to break through. They glued it back. Like, you know, because if they, they were broken, you, I thought I'd get new ones. Yep. So the only ones I use is this one for my painting. All my paint stuff that I had. But, like, you know, when I did this. And this one's for my chemicals. Because, you know, they'll die. Right. And kill, so so where do you have to keep your food? So all my food is here. Right here. And then I buy daily. I keep all my food here. I keep all the things in plastic. I keep all my, like, little plastic things down here for mice and stuff can't get on it. And, wrote, um, you know, rats and stuff. This is ridiculous. This is like, that's like another pro, this is like another project. Yep, as you can see, I threw mad furniture away. That's why I put the kids to it. And then the bathroom, I'll show you this. Watch this. Don't that one. Excuse me, little pup pup. <laughs> so, this keeps coming. That's black mold. Yeah, now keep going. Watch this. That's the light side. That's the side they keep fixing. And Jesus it Christ. It, it, this is the third time. So it fell. It was a big hole there. They covered it up. They put more paint. Now it's coming down again. So you see all the pieces fall. So that falls in my that falls in my shower. They painted over this. Yeah. Yeah. And mind uh. you, they did this about I can say four months ago, no more. Six the most. This is this is a health violation. Yeah. Yep, you could tell they just did it because you see how this is white? And why is that already like that? You see how that's white? Why is that already molded? That's how you could tell it wasn't done long ago. So I'm now actually visiting uh, another tenant. So we're going to go ahead and move to the kitchen. You said there was something about the... You said the stove? Yeah, we have my grandson's one year old birthday party and we were cooking. It was fine. That worked. We just got this about two weeks ago. And we went to get it and See? it's happened. See, it won't open. It wouldn't open. It, it's open a little now because we were trying to get it open. I'm using all my strength. That, the, yeah, that's supposed to just pull out. Yeah. Yeah. What I had to do. Let's take that out. Is I had to take this part out. And go underneath it. As you can see, I did. I went underneath it, but yeah. it's in there tight now. So I'm afraid of scabs coming out. Yeah. And stuff right now. So as you can see, I had to pull this out, but I'm not gonna do it now because yeah, you can't do it. Yeah. Like that. yeah. That's stuck now. I had to pull this out, and then there's another piece where all the um, gas fire is. But right now, after that was done, I put that in there so tight because I'm afraid of gas coming out. My kids sleeping at night, and right. 
section. That's how we take the meat the out. Defect, the defect. Taking that part. Wow. It was burning. There was right. defects, yeah. So these yeah. are the defects. We get the Yeah, they, that's, a, that's a used stove. Mm -hmm. And then make it look new with the flag. Yeah, yeah that looks that's great. A, yeah, that's all very old stove. <laughs> yeah, so we had a pork in there, we were cooking, and my thing was like, uh, the house is going to go on fire. And my kids, everybody, you know, I didn't give a hoot to rat about, you know, but we couldn't get it open. Um, so you're you're saying there's rodent holes in here? Yes. Yeah, they covered they come, them up here. They come under the, the from the cab under the cabinets. We have the same problem. Yeah. And they come up from under here. What else did they cover up? They cover up with like a uh, an SOS pad. Yeah, yeah. They put um, a metal steel wool in there. Yeah, like a metal Brillo. So they're in the walls. Yes, they're in the walls. They're yeah. in the walls. They're inside the walls. You can hear. It's not a great sound. They just stick things up there, like right here. They just stick it up like, and rats, they can bite through that real quick. You know, if they put that in there, a week later that, that Brillo stuff is out. Oh yeah, they put the Brillo stuff on there because they don't like the, it messes with their teeth or something like that. Yeah, right? but they still go through it, like the, how they do on the cars. They bite their wires to get up in there and the warmth. And right. So we're in the bathroom. In the corner. And, uh, that's that's from inside. They just, they just fixed that, but it's coming back like that again. Did they just put plaster over this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it makes you realize it. Okay. The um, there's another floor above you. Yes. Yeah. Do they? You, do you know if they have uh this issue? Do you know if they have a water problem? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I remember seeing I think it's a water problem uh, from the from third floor. Yeah. And I explained to them. Yeah. But they're the not. You know, they know nothing about it, yeah. They're not putting attention where you're my, saying. My mother's apartment, they have the same problem. And we went into the apartment, the guy's wall was bubbled out like this here. It, and, yeah, it's in the wall. You yeah. can hear it. And then they, they evicted him so that no one could see it. This... This bubbles, these are... Uh, That's water, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, this is water. Yes. So the water from the apartment above you, I believe it's like it's... It's coming from it's the ceiling. Dripping. From the ceiling. Yeah, it dropping in the, the, the area right there. The tiles were down. And that's how the ceiling get like that. I fell on my ass on the tiles in this tub over here. Do you know if any uh, moisture comes in from the window? Yeah. yeah. Um, or no? He's I'm sorry. Well, he's Does any water ever come in, any moisture coming from the window? Does it come through the window too? Um, no, on the other bathroom. In the other does. bathroom. Okay. That's a big problem in the other bathroom. So this is the second bathroom. Okay, I, so I see, mm -hmm. I see right mold over the, here. Yes, exactly. You see the mold all yes. right there. And uh, the adhesive right there, for my husband did, has done that because they were to put the strip down. And right here where the water was coming through too also. In the and, I'm trying and, to. And mind you, that it's the tenant that's doing the work. Right, yeah. That that's another thing I'm noticing too. Like, what are the maintenance, what what are they? We put the orders in it and about yeah, three they, or four times. Yes. So they, that's, they, they come here. Like water up there. Yeah. They come yeah. here and they spray something from Boston Housing, they, they, they spray, spray something paint. and they leave. Yeah. But about three weeks later, it was showing off again, the mold. That's why I put some paint all over the place, and I tried to paint the whole ceiling. We have our it's grandkids mold. coming in. And it's it's inside the wall. The, big thing yep. mm -hmm. the water goes inside the window, and from the outside, you can see the outside, all the stem. So that that's a bullet hole? That's the yeah. last one. The I'll show you how it happened. You can open that door. Can you open the door? Me? Yes. Okay. I'll show you how it happened. My daughter's messy room. Okay. Shout out this window. Okay. And and my daughter was sleeping here. They shot out the window. It came up and up that out went up to the ceiling there. And as you can see, the hole covered there. Can you it right yeah. above? Wow. You see the light? That was a bullet. This is what the, the bullet hit. The, yeah. Wait. So someone shot into here? Yeah. Yes. Yes, and it took them a while to fix the window. Oh, they fixed it when the inspection was coming. That's yeah, right yeah, yeah. Yeah, because remember, yeah. we were all standing out there. <laughs> yep, yep, and it was quite a few bullets. And it, ha it happened in my house about three times. Puppy, three times? Yeah. Bullet, bullet, bullet yeah. shot up? The last one was that window, but 
they fixed that window. This is part yeah. of the ceiling here where you can see oh, yeah. there was water damage and they painted over it. So I just want to show you guys, this is in the hallway too, the mold, those, those black spots. That's mold. And if you look at the stairwell. All the way up here. Look, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. That's all mold. You guys see that? All mold. Um, I'm in another apartment now and we're going to, I want to show you again another issue with the bathroom. So again, this is mold. Yeah. This is not, they keep, you know, they keep painting, painting, painting. spots. This is not dirt. This is all mold on the ceiling wow. and look over here look at that look wow. at this so that is very dangerous and i'm not gonna stay in too long because they so every time like if you're taking a shower you're breathing this in this is very dangerous mm -hmm. so that is considered to be a health health hazard and then here too going into another room here they painted over this? Yeah. So they just painted over. There's just paint. Yeah. You see what they, they do? This this uh this ceiling is falling apart. Yes. Right there. I, I see it. All of that. Maybe they go to fix painting and put them it's in space, fix you know? it. Yes. Then they'll get fixed like It'll that. Be shooting. In the kitchen. And they just plastic. See, this is what a lot of times what they'll do, guys. They'll just paint over it so you don't see what's really happening. Yeah, this is spreading throughout the entire building. In the, in the kitchen, you see it spreading all across the top there. This is what I was saying about mold. If you don't take care of it, if you don't treat mold, it will spread. And this is right behind the bathroom. Yep, so I'm going to the window now. This is a bullet hole? Yes. Who is shooting in here? They, 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 they come in the neighborhood and they just... Oh boy. What What is this building? It, it used to be the brick factory. Um, so they just le leave it like that? Well, yeah. a, a gentleman owns it. And um, as you see, they condemned the building, not the fire department. Yeah. They got that but Mayor Wu just gave them a, con um, a, a permit, which is on the fence over there. Okay. Um, but it, as as it being a, a, the old brick, um, they they were made up of asbestos, so you really can't build in there. All right, guys. So I'm um, back outside. So you'll see again. There's another bullet hole. Another one up there. You see those those bullet holes. And then while I'm out here, I also want to show you those black boxes I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. This is what they'll put down that's supposed to kill rodents. But like I said, the rodents are smart and they know to avoid it. Maybe one of them might go in there, but the other ones will just bypass it. So this is not a solution. Okay. Pull it home. Another one. That's... Wow. And this is why you don't see any children outside playing. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I can see that. You guys see what I was saying about how these boxes don't actually stop anything? It doesn't kill them. They know to avoid them. So they stuff plastic down there yes. to cover up the hole? Yes, because Mia Wu was here. Uh huh. Okay. She didn't see this? No. She stood up right up there. Let me just get on this side because okay. I want to show people this hole. Yeah. There's a hole see, here, it goes guys. Straight down. You see that? Like putting plastic there isn't gonna like rodents will chew right through that. Yes. That's only been there uh, less than a week when she was here. As you see the mold growing up underneath the um the kitchen window. Right there. Yeah. And more mold how the moisture there's no air conditioning upstairs but you see the moisture yep coming down i want you to notice something notice how the brick is turning like a green color right over here you guys see see that you see what's happening to the brick so i want to show you guys again here's another hole 
again so this is what i was telling you guys like they are building let me my shadow out the way this is what the rodents will do they're building a home they build these holes and then they have a tunnel that they can go through underground once they start getting in like that you're screwed Okay. And the apartment that he was talking about, it's right there where that border that window is. Um, these people, they, they evicted them, and they they, they, um, they didn't give them an the opportunity to take this stuff out. They threw the stuff out this window. Wow. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm at a, another apartment, and I want to show you there's another issue. So this is another example where you can tell they tried to either paint over this or put some type of plaster over it, but obviously, like I said, the mold will still come through. Eventually, it'll come through. You go all the way down, and you can see it coming all the way down on the side. Yes. So this is what they do. Like, that's what I was saying, guys. Like, they'll just try to, like, paint over it. But again, like I said, mold will still come through. Also here in the kitchen, see what they try to cover it over. Cut all the way across. See more Under black mold. That, that's on you. What's, what's in here? This is great. Wow. Yeah, I I I feel these. Oh, yeah. these got a lot of stuff. I feel these holes with, with um steel wool and plaster. Uh, they didn't. They wouldn't want to come over and fix them. So I had to come over and do it myself. <sighs> I'm in the bathroom. And then again, you'll see we have this issue here again with the ceiling. So you can see it's coming through. And then the same thing again with the, the shower. So you can see the moisture. And the wall starts to bubble up like that. Like that's not good. And on the mold, it comes down. And you can see over here as well. It's a tiny hole. It's coming through yeah it so the other thing too is and there's there's wallpaper in here and then that's a that's gonna that is another issue yes because if the paper wasn't here you could probably see more and then there i think i think this in, this entire building is infested with mold Yes. I think all of it is. All of it. So one of the things that uh, I've noticed is like, yes, there is maintenance. We have a maintenance crew, but the maintenance crew isn't doing anything. Like they're not fixing these issues, the things that we're showing you. They're just, it's like they're just putting little patches over. And some of the things that you saw that were kind of covered up, some of the tenants try to fix some of these things themselves because the maintenance people are not doing what they're supposed to do. There's another, there's another bullet hole right there. Another one. That's why I said, like, who, who is, who is shooting over here? <laughs> there are people who don't live here, and we, we don't know. They just come from out of nowhere, and, and we, and they'll, when we see them, everybody flees because they don't know what's about to happen. Um, Interesting. The, the, the road and burrows. See, here's another one, another hole here and another ro those are rats do that yeah so that's that's what you're seeing there guys yeah we showed yeah, you that, we one. that one there's a major there's one there one right here. that was actually a new one that one wasn't there before they're, they're all in there though yeah it's all in there. It's that. right here and right here but I was I was telling people like with the rats if they they're digging those kind of holes and stuff like that they can get inside yes. like if they get in you're you're, you're screwed yes. like mm -hmm. do you feel like maybe they trying to they try they're trying to let it fall apart so people will leave yes um this this neighborhood was the only tenant run management until the the manager she passed away and then Boston Housing took it took it over and they let it run down to where it is and as okay. you look, this is this is a, this is a disaster. And you guys see what I was saying about these black boxes? Look, you see the holes, the holes right there, in the ground. Like they just, they the, rodents are smarter than that. Yes. Like they know to avoid. Like look, they have hole, they have little burrows, so they go underneath the box. That's crazy, man. So again, I'm here at Bromley Heath Housing Apartment um, in Jamaica Plain, 
in Boston, Massachusetts. Again, so you've seen a, a lot of things today. One of the biggest concerns I do have is the mold, uh, particularly because it's black mold. And it is one of those things like you're breathing in that and that can cause other health issues such as asthma. It can cause lung issues. Um, I started to notice it a, a little bit. I started to get a little, little fuzzy or a little lightheaded um, just from, and I wasn't even in there long. So that right there lets you know. So I think the thing is, is it, it this is what happens when you don't take care of mold. It will spread. Painting it, uh, putting plaster over the wall does not get rid of the mold. And from what I've seen, the buildings that I've gone into, it is very apparent that the mold is spreading throughout the building. It's not just in one person's uh, apartment. So I don't know what the city plans to do. There was $50 million that was allocated towards some parts of Bromley Heath. It doesn't look like it's been, been used yet. But again, I don't know what they're planning to do, but I have a, a strong suspicion that the plan is to let the buildings fall apart, to push the people out, to demolish this entire complex and build something anew, probably something gentrified.